Welcome back to uh, La Voûte. Today we're going to do a chicken blanquette. You know, who doesn't like chicken? Everybody likes chicken. Then uh, for this recipe, we're going to need, uh, obviously, salt and pepper. We're going to need some oil. I have some uh, heavy cream. The pasta are going to be for the garnish. I have uh, about 16 ounces of uh, chicken breast, skinless. Uh, that will be enough for two people, okay? I have some butter. I have some uh, mushroom that I washed first. I have some fresh thyme, a little bit of uh, celery uh, branch, and I have some bacon and onions. Then all of this working together is going to give us something absolutely fantastic. Then to start, I'm going to uh, first put some oil in my pan over there and bring that to a pretty high temperature. It needs to be hot. At the same time, I'm going to cut some what we call lardon, lardons, you know. I'm going to cut some decent size because they're going to melt anyway when we're going to cook. I'm going to take an onion that I peeled, cut in half, and I'm going to cut that in big chunk also. I don't want them to be too small. You see? Then I have my onions. Everyone can do that. I know you can do it. The celery, I'm going to split the branch, the stem, and the same, big, big cut. The mushroom, I'm going to do what we call mince, M-I-C, which means rapidly, you know, I'm going to cut a, uh, a part of it and then M-I-C. The chicken is pretty much ready, and I have all of this going on here. Then now, I go to my... Uh, pan that obviously was the the oil was getting uh, warmer and warmer and i have to wait a little bit to make sure i have a very high temperature in it you should have the psh, you know that should be a, a very nice sound i love that when it's cooking like that you know and i have the bacon is going to cook like that for about two minutes the next step easy Again, I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for, for you. Because my goal is to have you to make it at home. That's really what I'm looking for. Then I have the bacon starting to be brown. And I regrouped here onion, mushroom, celery, you know, all together. And again, I'm just going to toss everything together. Let me tell you, it already smells very good. And it looks very good. At this stage, I'm going to put a little bit of seasoning, salt and pepper. Okay. I let that cook for about two, three minutes to evaporate the water content from the onion, the celery and the mushroom. Okay, like about three, four minutes actually. Now I have my uh, flavor here from the onion, celery, mushroom, bacon. I push a little bit on the side and I'm going to take each one of my chicken breast and I'm going to saute lightly, you know, on the bottom. You see what I'm doing? I'm taking the seasoned side and I put it down because now I'm going to come back and season on the other side. Okay, we are back. The chicken uh, has been cooking for about three, four minutes. And I'm going to add, just for the flavor, a little bit of butter. Again, this is really for the, the flavor of the dish. That's going to add a little nutty flavor that, uh, you know, it's really good with this kind of uh, recipe. Doesn't need to have a lot, but you need a little bit. I don't know if you can see in the bottom of my pan, this is beautiful, that's the flavor. All of this, you know, the brown thing here, that's a suc, where we call the, the, all the flavor that's sticking to the pan and it's going to come to the sauce when we're going to add the cream. All right, now is the thing. For this dish, you can deglaze with white wine, okay? Uh, I decided to go with no alcohol on this one, but you can put a little bit of white wine if you want and let it reduce. For this one, I'm just going to go with the natural flavor. Turn down my fire a little bit. And all the flavor and the juices from all the ingredients, including the chicken. And I'm just going to add the, the cream. 
Then you see it's all natural. There is no, I don't add any chicken stock or any kind of, uh, you know, uh, base or anything. It's just the flavor and the texture of the, the product. And pretty much this recipe is done. Then now I have the cream. I'm just going to reduce the, f the fire under, push the chicken on the side. Let it cook a little bit. That's why I'm going to add the pasta to it. The pasta have been pre-cooked, then I just need to toss them in the sauce. To uh, make them hot. Then now they are in the sauce, that's going to be a wonderful flavor. And I'm taking some of the bacon, celery, onions into it, you know. And guys, this is ready to go to your table. Pasta in the plate. One or two fillet of chicken in function of your appetite. The sauce, the garnish. If you can, you can finish it with fresh thyme. Or if you prefer, just chopped parsley will work perfectly fine. You can add more sauce if you want, but if not, you're ready to go with a really a five minutes chicken blanket with bacon, mushroom, onions, and celery. Bon appétit and come to see it in uh, to see us in La Voûte. Thank you very much. Bye bye.